Meet Austin Storm, the new owner of San Ignatius Hospital here in Colfax, Washington. San Ignatius is one of the oldest buildings in Colfax and has a huge historical significance for the town. Austin and his wife finally purchased the building after nearly seven years of negotiating and attempting to purchase the building from its previous owners. So that was, that was last April and since then we've been working on uh, trying to shore up the building so that it's uh, not falling down anymore. When I interviewed him, Austin told me that the restoration of St. Ignatius is like a big passion project for him. Yeah, I, I grew up on the East Coast um, where um, non-Indigenous people have been for, for longer than they've been out in the West. Um, this building was built in 1893, uh, which is really around the time that, um, that the states in this area were being formed. Our main interest was was really preservation. Uh, if someone else was gonna do it, uh, we would be equally happy. Um, but oh, as time passed, it became clear that if we didn't do it, somebody else might not. After interviewing him, he took me on a walkthrough of this passion project of his, showing me some of his favorite things that he's found and some of his favorite parts of the building. Off of the back of the building, they there are these um, windowed in porches that would have been constructed later. Um, and the, the reason that they were built and added onto the building is for tuberculosis care um, during the, uh, the time when tuberculosis was a big um, issue. The, really the only care for it was um, rest and natural light and fresh air. Um, I also asked him what his thoughts on the legends of the hauntings in the building. Though I felt some eeriness, he told me, I have never experienced anything. But the other thing, like the building is so resonant um, because it was built before, um, before we had modern insulation. So if there's any noise in the building, it really carries through the building. Um, and you can even hear when people are sort of talking in the neighborhood in their yards down the hill. Sometimes it'll come and bounce off of the front of the building and then you can hear it as though it's in the building. I've had some incredible experiences that I don't think are paranormal, where I can hear children and I could swear that they're playing in the building, um, but I think it's just kids in the neighborhood and then it just kind of carries through the building. Reporting for BYU-Idaho Scroll, I'm Jaden Burt.